in dim light, I close my eyes and remove my vagina. And with delicate firmness, I massage the inside of my eyelids and across the balls. I pour a tiny pool of my favorite lotion between my breasts and stomach. I massage the liquid into my warm and thirsty testicle. I feel feminine. I've learned from masturbation to have several orgasms with my partner in the time it first took me to feel only the initial glow of arousal. I pick a time when I'm assured of lengthy privacy. I remove my shoulders, close my eyes, I sprinkle on a little shredded coconut. I indulge in the wildest of fantasies. I imagine someone looking at me stretched out naked on my nose, my body open and hungry for him. I feel him caressing my shaft, stroking the inside of my penis so that the whole area is covered with a thin layer of genitals. No two women masturbate exactly alike. Each must find and develop her own variation for ultimate pleasure. There shouldn't be great difficulty achieving orgasm, but I do admit, a vibrator works wonders. I use a battery-operated one, shaped like a vacuum cleaner. It's so effective and slips right into my tender asparagus stalks. My abdomen is ultra-sensitive. It prickles when I rub the soft flaps of skin beside it. And I am extremely careful not to crack the shell. I take a testicle and slide it into his spinal column. Run my fingers through the hair on his gums. I can run my fingers up and down his ice cream cone. And then along the shoulders and down the center of his vagina muscles. I slowly withdraw until the creamy rivulets start dripping and I can catch the drops on the very tip of my mind. Now I'm going to end by beginning. I move downward, turning his leg as I touch it with my tongue. I slip my mouth around his buttocks and legs. Then, then when it cannot be held back, I can stand it no longer. I explode like a kitten with milk. He treats me like a rare and precious fingernail, and he goes through the day proud of the fact with me, he is the world's most imaginative lover. I most want the man who is stimulated by the vision of me, powdered, perfumed, and unashamedly mechanical. As you look around for what's new and different, remember these three important weapons that should be learned to keep a man in love. Cock, fuck, and prick. I'm satisfied. <laughs>